It's Grinny here, back with another banger, guys. Today, we're looking at what the smart money is doing, what the whales, what the institutions are doing with their money in cryptocurrency. Now, this is gonna affect your meme coins, your old coins, your Bitcoin, and essentially, this is the secret to making life-changing wealth. So be sure to drop me a sub down below, smash a like as well, guys, and obviously, if you'd like to support the channel a little bit further, become a YouTube member. All right, without further ado, this is what the smart money is doing. Now, if you're someone like me, you wanna be following what the smart money is doing, what the whales are doing, what the institutions are doing. And so what we unpack today is essentially that purpose. Zooming out, okay, focusing on what the ETF approvals actually mean for this space and taking a long-term horizon. I'm thinking 10, 20, 30, possibly 40 years ahead, guys, for what cryptocurrency can be, or more specifically, what Bitcoin, Ethereum, and even Solana could possibly be in the future. Now, obviously, earlier this year, we've seen that a spot Bitcoin ETF was approved, and then they rushed through and entered a Ethereum ETF as well. And ultimately, as this allows institutional wealth, this allows whales to step into the market and have exposure to Bitcoin. Now, obviously, as you can see here, we've already seen over $17 billion of money flow into Bitcoin specific uh, ETFs. Now that is huge guys, because at the end of the day, that puts buying pressure on your precious Bitcoin. And obviously because it's a finite supply, it means that it's gonna mean price goes up over time. And we've obviously seen that, but more on that a little bit later in this video where I actually break down Bitcoin versus other assets. Now, ultimately there is regulatory compliance, it's simplified access and it means more liquidity and more trading. So more volume, right? And as I said before, more potential for your bags to go up across the space. I'm talking meme coins, I'm talking old coins and I'm talking Bitcoin and Ethereum. So with this, obviously you wanna be following what the smart money is doing. And it is being uh, stated several times that this is a multi-trillion dollar potential industry, okay? And that's not been said by one article. That's been said by governments. That's been said by senior officials at hedge funds. Hedge funds. Uh, that's been said by many institutional investors out there. So specifically, let's look at some. Michael Saylor, probably the most commonly well-known Bitcoin advocate, runs obviously MicroStrategy, and he has a detailed summary of so, many, so much Bitcoin bullishness that it would take you hours and hours to actually read it and understand it all. But really briefly, we'll touch on his uh, couple of the rules that he uh, specifically says about understanding and embracing Bitcoin. As you can see, those who understand it, buy it. Everyone is against Bitcoin before they support it. The ongoing journey is understanding Bitcoin. And now that is very true. Now, once you understand what Bitcoin is, it is essentially the perfect money scheme. So in other words, Bitcoin is powered by chaos. It's powered uh, by institutions. It's now powered by ETF demand. It's now powered by hedge funds, okay? And Bitcoin is the ultimate store of value. And again, we're gonna to touch on that as a comparison to gold very shortly. The importance of total commitment and it redefines ownership. This point here is massive, right? you and me can buy it directly. And again, we're gonna focus on that today using Binance specifically. Now, ultimately, overcoming traditional economic models, Bitcoin nails that, right? Everyone gets Bitcoin at the price they deserve, so it's whenever they wanna buy it and whenever they wanna sell it. Bitcoin escapes the money matrix. It is so clear, guys, because there's no regulation, there's no overseeing power that actually rules Bitcoin. Insight is restricted to those with a need to know. All models will be destroyed because Bitcoin is the perfect money model. The cure for economic ills, right? The orange pill, okay, be for Bitcoin, not against fiat. Bitcoin is for everybody. Learn to think in Bitcoin. And obviously the last few points, guys, is respecting Bitcoin. You don't change Bitcoin. You can't change Bitcoin. It's essentially code. Laser eyes and laser focus. Respect that Bitcoin or be humbled. And then lastly, guys, never sell your Bitcoin. Bitcoin is life. Do not diversify. Spreading Bitcoin with loveness. Spread Bitcoin with love, not hate. So essentially, you can obviously uh, Google that and dive in a lot further. But that is just a lot of essentially bullishness that really, once you dive deep into the understanding, of what Bitcoin is really makes you understand that you probably want to have exposure to that moving into the well-known future. Now, ultimately, Michael Saylor, quite the actual bullish uh, 
bull uh, for Bitcoin, as you've seen here. He recently said this in uh, 2024's Bitcoin conference in Nashville. He expects that uh, Bitcoin in the most bear case scenario could reach this uh, price, so 3 million, okay, in a base case scenario with inflation, with uh, traditional returns, okay, with a mathematical scaled model. 30 million is a very uh, achievable goal in the next 21 years. And then lastly, guys, he did say in a very risk on uh, favorable market, it could potentially reach uh, 49 million. Now, that's obviously huge, okay, but obviously we could see that very much uh, reach at least a million, in my opinion, in the next 10 to 15 years. Let's dive deeper, okay? So, BlackRock. Okay, it's one of the largest ETFs that have invested in. Again, we want to follow what the smart money is doing. So, if smart money doesn't want to actually invest in the ETFs and they want to buy it actually on exchanges, where do you think they're going to go? More on that very, very shortly. So, obviously, Larry Fink, he believes in Bitcoin, it's a legitimate, it's not saying it, uh, there aren't any minuses like everything else, but it's a legitimate financial instrument that allows you to have uncorrelated returns. Now this guy, okay, this guy has so much money, right? He's a manager for over $10.6 trillion in his funds, so you better be listening to what the smart money is doing. All right, let's step back. Let's analyze it from a statistics-based perspective. So reality check, we all know that Bitcoin has been the most, uh, well, the highest performing asset over the past sort of 15, well, since it inaugurated and since it was created uh, in 2011, guys. So obviously, as you can see over the past four years, it has outperformed everything else. And again, this was um, written uh, in the past, but as you can see, uh, everyone always likes to compare Bitcoin to gold. So this really breaks it down nice and clearly and really shows you what $1 can do at different price points over Bitcoin's history. So obviously, without diving too deeply into it, the method and uh, the real takeaway from this is that you should be buying Bitcoin, guys, compared to gold. As you can see, uh, gold does return. I think there's one year where gold actually out -return, uh, outperforms Bitcoin. But outside that, guys, no matter when you have bought Bitcoin, it has outperformed performed gold. This is the year here, two years ago, but that obviously has changed uh, more recently. So yes, zoom out and understand why Bitcoin is really good. Now, obviously we want to talk about what chain, uh, where people go to buy it. So we want to be focusing on where the institutions will likely go to buy because that's where the liquidity is, that's where the volume is, and that's where the most potentials are for Bitcoin trading, for altcoin trading, and obviously meme coin trading. Now, as you can see, whales have been accumulating over the period of history of Bitcoin. This yellow line symbolizes whale growth, okay? So whales that hold over a thousand Bitcoin and it is up and to the right, very similar to what the price is doing. So where do you think they go? Okay, so if we dive deep into what the best exchange is and where the best place to go is, it is definitely Binance, guys. It has a 10 out of 10 trust score, okay? And it died, like just dominates, sorry, in 24 hour volume in monthly visits, guys, okay? You can see this, it's literally 2X the other top two, okay? So it's 2X nearly Coinbase, it dominates in terms of volume, okay, it's 3x over Bybit and it's 6x or 10x over Coinbase. So Binance remains the top preference for a lot of these particular institutional and smart money guys. It has a lot of coins, okay, over 376 coins with over 1,244 pairs, okay. It has um, this one over here, it has 1,633 markets. It has over 10.8 weekly million dollar views on their platform. And ultimately they have over 90, I can't even pronounce that number. It's at like $90 trillion worth of assets, guys. So obviously if you're looking to sign up for Binance, it's in the description below. And if the smart money is gonna be buying on um, Binance, then you wanna be buying on, on Binance because that's where the liquidity is, that's where the trusted money is going, the smart money, that's where the whales are going, okay? That's where the institutional wealth will be going. So you wanna make sure that you have your hands on the best platform and learn to become familiar with trading on such an elite platform. So like I said, guys, come below this video, okay? It's just down here. All right, sign up to Binance there. Click it, it'll open this page up for you. Ultimately, you'll just have to sign up using your email, okay? Or your phone number, that's up to you. Alternatively, guys, if you aren't on uh, YouTube, come to my Twitter page here, click on my link tree, and then open that up in the description, and bang, there it is, Binance Trade on the most trusted crypto exchange worldwide. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about the ETFs? Is this a uh, curse for crypto? Is this actually the most bullish thing in history? Where do you think Bitcoin's gonna go? Is Michael Saylor out to lunch, okay? Or is he actually going to be right with his forecast in the next 21 years? And could Bitcoin actually trade at $3 million minimum in 2024, uh, in 2045? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.
So there you have it, guys. That's what the smart money is doing. So don't fade this opportunity. Zoom out and realize where we currently are and where we could be in 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now with Bitcoin specifically. As always, please subscribe down below. Smash a like button as well, guys. And obviously, if you'd like to support the channel a little bit further, become a YouTube member by signing up in the description below. And lastly, guys, if you'd like to join my trading group and get one-on-one -on -one analysis, trades, education with me and other callers, sign up using the WAP.com link in the description below. As always, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next one.